Emily, we're at district court where they did eventually uh, postpone the arraignments we were awaiting. But the real question tonight, are these six people somehow tied to a bigger organized crime ring? The brazen crime happened overnight at the drop box in front of the Newtonville post office. It's right out in the open. There's construction going on here. This is a major thoroughfare, so it, it's surprising that it would happen right here. And I'm actually surprised there's not some kind of camera on the building. A patrolling officer caught them in the act. Police have arrested Dari Moretta of Boston and Jefferson Ovalle of Brighton, as well as four people from New York City. If you talk to the postal police, they'll tell you that it's been going on, you know, for many years. But recently there has been an uptick. And we do know that, again, people are um, uh, coming up from New York City to commit these type of crimes. In this case, police say the suspects used a bottle coated with sticky glue on a string, then lowered the homemade device into the drop box to pull up mail. The idea is to reel in money, checks, gift cards, bank account info, and social security numbers. It was just two months ago we told you about a similar fishing spree in Wellesley, where all mailboxes have now been converted to prevent this crime. The best way to protect yourself, hand off your mail to your letter carrier or mail it inside the post office. Only use the drop box before the last collection of the day. Watch for suspicious substances on the mailbox, such as glue or other sticky substances. And use a gel or felt tip pen, not ballpoint, to write out your checks. That heavier ink is harder for the thieves to wash or erase. And those arraignments are being rescheduled. The U.S. Postal Service is aware of these phishing crimes and is currently in the process of converting all drop boxes to the new tamper-proof version. We're live in Newton. I'm Mary Saladin, WCVB News Center 5.